Hello YouTube, this is the DBC Gamer Show, episode 80. And today I'm going to review Conker's Bad Thirty for Nintendo 64. So, let's get started. Right, that's my Nintendo 64, powered up. So, let's start reviewing this game. Now, the story of the Conquest by 30 is quite simple. Basically, Con goes out to the pub one night with all his friends, and then he um, gets completely hammered after drinking several pints of beer, and he walks up, on his way home, he's so drunk he can't find his house, and he ends up going on this mass adventure doing all these tasks for money. And also his girlfriend gets kidnapped a bit in the game, and loads of other stuff happens. And the story is completely hilarious. It's a really funny story. Okay, this is because of the graphics of the game. But the graphics of this game are also really good. Let me just load up a chapter and I'll show you some graphics. Okay, this is the, one of the um, earliest bits of the game. And this is how the um, graphics look for this game. As you can see, it looks really, really good. Red's done a really good job of showing off what the Nintendo 64 can do. As they always do. Okay, this is going to the multiplayer. Well, the multiplayer in this game is also pretty good. There are several multiplayer games that you can play with your friends. There's one where you're shooting each other with guns and stuff. Uh, there's one where you're um, racing against each other in cars and whatever. And I think that's it. Okay, let's go to the controls for this game. The controls for Conker's Bad 30 work very well. It's quite simple actually. No, this is the M64 version. Use a thumbstick to move them around. A button, jump, B button, practically does everything in the game. I really win everything. In the game, you'll find little pressure pads called contact sensitive buttons. Press the B button, you press the set button. So, A jump, B does practically everything. Um, thumbstick moves you around. Uh, so, it's from Wonder War, you press B, so you hold B to swim. Um, R third person view mode. C buttons must carry camera. And that's basically it. Okay, let's go to the music for this game. Well, the music for this game is also pretty good. Some of the music actually does appear from old Rare games. Example, in this game, there's, there's also some music that appears from Diddy Kong Racing and also some music from Banjo Tooie. So, not only has Rare used new music, they've also recycled some old tracks from some of their older games. Most of the music is pretty good. Uh, the voice acting in this game is also great. The voice acting makes the perfect, it's really, really funny. What the characters all say. Yeah, there's a game for this game. The game for this game is a 3D adult adventure platformer sort of game. Now, you may be asking, why is this an adult sort of game? Because you you may think Conquest by 30 is a kiddie sort of game, a bit like, um Banjo 2 and Banjo 3 1. But it is not. In this game, there is swearing, um, nudity, and several other things. Th when this game was came out, it was rated M for Mature and rated 17 plus. And there's quite a lot of offensive stuff in here. But most of the swearing is what makes this game funny. It's a really funny game. There's also some shooting in the game, which I'll show you later. Now let's go to the customer base game. Well, the customer base game is definitely the story. Um, the story is really good. The cutscenes are awesome. Let me just show you one cutscene. Give me a second. 
Okay, now that I've found a cut scene in the game that I can show you. This is a little bit later on in the game. This is the um, Halloween level. Told you this game was swear words, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's what the cutscenes are like. As you can see, they're all very good quality in there. Most of them are quite funny. As you look at this game, it's definitely the gameplay. The gameplay is very similar to Banjo Kazooie, but it's really, really a lot of fun. One well, of the best things about this game is the humour. The, the, the amount of jokes they throw in the cutscenes are just really, really hilarious. And you'll go about this game are the cameos. In the game there are several cameos from movies. Example, there's one level where you're doing a cameo from the Matrix movie. Now you walk into the level where you jump. It even does the slow motion shooting jumping thing that was in the movie. And it's just really funny and really awesome to play. So the cameos in this game are also good. And you'll go about this game are the vehicles. One of the best vehicles in the game is the tank. Let me just show you that. Okay, now that I found the um, war level of the game, this is the um, tank that you get to drive. The tank, in itself, controls really well as well. You use the thumbstick to drive it, uh, the C buttons rotate the turret, hold on R A you can move the turret up and down, and the Z button, well, let's see what happens, shall we? Kaboom! Fires the uh, massive cannon that you've got on there. I think it's one of the best parts of the game, it's one of my most favourite vehicles in the entire game, because of the explosive power it has. There's one excellent boss fight with this thing, and you tear the shit out of the boss because you've got this bad boy. Okay, let me just talk about levels in this game. Only well, in us, there are loads and loads of levels. Let me just show you a few of them. Okay, this is the um, first level of the game. This is the um, farm sort of level. Even though it's the first level of the game, this level is really, really hard. There's quite a lot of puzzles through this, this level, and the boss in this level is also really hard. But I'll talk about the bosses later. Okay, next level. Okay, this is the newer level that you may recognize if you've played this game before. The level is called The Land of Pooh. As you can tell from the name, it's a very smelly level. And this is also a pretty good level. It involves quite a lot of swimming. And um, it also involves one of the best bosses ever made known as the Mighty King of Pooh, and he's really, really funny. But I'll talk about him more later. So, on to level three. Okay, this is level three. Level three in the game is a very water-based level. There's loads of water in this level, and it's Quite a good level, although it does involve even more swimming than the, than the pool level, and you even have to do some swimming in the dark with a little torch to guide your way, so it's quite a hard level. Um, okay, on to the next level. Okay, here's the next level. This is the um, dinosaur themed world. It's a very difficult world because of all the um, dinosaurs in there always trying to kill you. And it's just also a very gory level because of all the um, dinosaurs trying to eat you and ripping all your blood and guts out. Yes, there is blood in this game. That's the only reason why this game is not really designed for children. Okay, next level. Oh, I ain't got time. Uh, I'm very sorry, YouTube, but I've run out of time, so please join me in part two of Conquered by Further Review. Until then, bye.